So I gotta finish the roof on my addition before it rains again. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free and I need to finish up this roof. I have the rafters finished, and the next thing that I need to do is put on the OSB deck, roof decking, and then after that, the shingles. Before I can do the OSB over top, I need to put these ceiling joists in, because in order for me to get this past here, it has to stick out that way above where the roof line would be. So I gotta put it in there, slide it in. I gotta do all of these before I can do the uh, the OSB on the roof. And then I discover that this roof is in the way of the uh, ceiling joists. I knew I was gonna have to cut that out, but I was hoping to do it later. But in order for me to get this last ceiling joist in here, I got to cut all of this out. I really didn't want to get into that right now. I was really hoping to do that later. Maybe I should just leave it as an architectural design on the inside of the house. What do you think? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut it out. So I guess I'll do this roof in pieces. It would be too much to do it all in one big chunk. <laughs> it would all fall to the ground in one piece. I'll cut it up into smaller pieces, make it a little easier to handle. All right, so now that I got that roof cut away, I can start on the ceiling rafters. Yeah, thanks. 
and it's solid as a rock too. Well, I'll say, I guess it's ready for shingles, huh? Ready for shingles. What do you think? Did that work? Yeah, I think that's all right. Now, as most of you probably know, our son Barry is also building an addition at the same time we are. And just like me, he's doing most of the work by himself. Now he got to the part where he had to do the uh, shingles on the roof of the addition, but his entire house needed to be reshingled. And that's something that he certainly could have done himself, but it would have taken a long time. He'd probably be up there a week or more, a week and a half trying to get the shingles done. So he hired a roofing crew to come in and they came in with a bunch of guys and finished it up in two days. It was quite a relief for Barry to have the whole uh, house reshingled. So I was talking to them, to the crew, and they were actually able to come down and work on my house and my little addition here. They had sent two guys and they did it in half a day. And I was relieved to have it done so quickly and I didn't have to do it myself, especially in this heat. Now the roof is done, shingles are on, and it's raining. And I'm very happy to have a completely dry room now. And I'm also very happy to have this three foot uh, eave hanging over, giving lots of protection to the door. Still gotta build steps and a little bit of a stoop there. But I'm very happy with this. Well, here you go, dear. What do you think? Wow. I mean, it feels so spacious in yeah. here. Is this going to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I am thrilled to death. <laughs> this is like, it's really real to me now. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. So, uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing here, we got a lot of comments from people saying, when we were talking about the door, of people saying, why don't you use a pocket door? Well, this this room is only going to have a toilet in it, yeah. and there is going to be a wall, just one wall, that comes out, and then it'll go, it'll just have an opening here for a door. There's no where to slide. Yeah, so we're going to frame this in, and that'll become the door. Yes, this will be a wall. Move up there. Yeah. The toilet will sit right here facing this way, a wall come out just like that. So there's nowhere to slide a, a, a pocket door because if it was here, it would have to slide this way. Right. But the wall turns right there. Right. And the entrance is going to be at the end. Yeah, the entrance is here. We can make a pocket door work if we put the door here and slid it that way. But this whole wall here is going to be a utility sink. Yeah. A uh, like a broom closet. Yeah. Stuff yeah, like there, that. There's plans for this area right in here up to the edge of the opening that we're going to have right yeah. here. So you can just step out of the the little toilet room there, the water closet, come right out and there's a utility sink here and that'll be right across from my washing machine, which will be in that corner right there. There will not be a sink inside here because you come right outside, there'll be the utility sink out here, right. wash your hands. So. And that way I can use it with my washing machine really easily and it'll also give a place to wash hands from the little bathroom here. Right. So, so yeah. no room for a, for a pocket door, for a sliding door. And if we can make the door open in, we will, but it, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if the door opens out either. It's not right. going to be a real big door. Right. So, yeah. So, so where are we going next? I don't know. <laughs> Up until now, it's been very obvious what the next project was, but now I'm not sure. I could start on the plumbing or electrical, or I could do the patio or the siding. I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, the windows and doors still need to be installed. Oh, yeah. The windows and doors will be going in, that's for sure. The window and the two doors. Yeah. Two windows. Oh, that's right. Well, and two doors, because there's a door there too. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. The door, and the door, and then the two windows. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of you are telling me how much you're really appreciating and enjoying this this series. So I'm so glad. Yes. Um, as you can see, I'm a 
I'm naturally a teacher, I love to teach, and I can't stand just doing something and not telling you why I'm doing it. So as I'm explaining what I'm doing, a lot of you are saying that you're really enjoying that because most uh, YouTube creators don't do that sort of thing. So sometimes I feel like I'm getting too detailed and too involved and too long-winded, but a lot of you are telling me that you really like that. So I really appreciate hearing that and I'll, I'll keep up that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. You learn a lot about what goes into a building, just a room. Right. There's a lot for it to be done right. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been working on this for about six weeks now, which kind of blows my mind that it's taken me so long. So many of you are saying, oh, you, you're working so fast, Bill, or you love the work, or you're a workaholic. <clears throat> what you don't see is that I'll work for an hour and I'll take two hours off, and I'll work for an hour and take two hours off. It's been so hot. Two yeah. reasons for that. One is because it's been extremely hot, and I work out here for a little while, and I start to get heat exhaustion. I gotta go in and get cooled off. So I only work a couple hours in the morning and then a couple hours in the evening. And um, a couple days ago, the weather broke. So now yeah. it's the, the humidity's down, the temperature is more reasonable. Yeah. And the other reason that I only work an hour and Greg to take two off is because I'm getting so old. Oh, sweetheart. He's been doing this kind of work for a long time. I'm serious. I can't do it at 64 like I could at 34. <laughs> so anyway, it's still moving along. I try to do something every day. And, I'm, and it's getting done. It's getting done. I, I didn't mean to interrupt him. Oh, I'm impressed that he's doing it. Yeah. I'm just really super impressed that he's doing it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your encouraging words. Yeah. Check out the next video to see whatever it is that I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know. You'll so. find out when we do. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. It's simple. Live free. <laughs> you be blessed. I right, love you guys. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. -bye. Is that right? Yep, that was fine. Okay.